It was amazing. Like nothing I'd ever seen. There was singing, floating candles, a ceiling that looked just like the night sky, and ghosts. Finally, Headmistress McGonagall spoke to everyone. Welcome to Hogwarts. Before we begin, I've been advised by Mr. Filch that a rather grumpy ghoul has taken up residence in an empty classroom on the third floor. Best to steer clear until further notice. When I first became headmistress, barely four months had passed since the Battle of Hogwarts. Since Lord Voldemort and his followers were defeated, thanks to the combined efforts of many heroic witches and wizards, forest dwellers and house elves, and students, much like yourselves. Hopefully, none of you will ever face such evil. But should challenges arise, know that together you are capable of much more than you might think. Now, to those feeling overwhelmed by the occasion, remember that even Harry Potter once stood where you do. Looking every bit as nervous, I might add. I know you're all starving, but first we must see to the sorting of our newest students into their houses. This is very important, as your house will be akin to your family while you are at Hogwarts. They will share your triumphs and your failures. Is everyone ready? Yes? All right, form a line. Come welcome one and all, the show's about to start. I'm the Hogwarts Sorting Hat, and it's time to play my part. You may call me worn and ragged if it's all you truly see. But listen close and I will tell where you're supposed to be. Go ahead and try me on There's nothing left to fear I'll find right where you belong By looking between your ears What a delightful song! After that, the sorting began proper One by one, students were sorted into their houses. And then, it was my turn. Oh yes, very interesting. Plenty of smarts, a bit of bravery, too. There's talent, of course, and something more. Hmm. Where shall I put you? Slytherin! Robin Thistlethwaite! Hufflepuff! Lottie Turner! Slytherin! 
Ivy Warrington. Ivy? Does anyone know what happened to Ivy? Am I to understand no one has seen Miss Warrington? I talked to her on the train. She said she couldn't wait to explore the castle. She seemed very excited. And, um, I think she was in our boat. She seemed nice. I see. Hagrid? Yes, Headmistress? I believe a search party is in order. It appears we have lost a student. Professor, do you want us to help look for Ivy? Very noble of you to offer, but not necessary. I'm sure Miss Warrington will turn up shortly. In the meantime, enjoy the feast and get a good night's rest. Your first lessons will begin very soon. Finally. I didn't realize how tired I was until I stopped moving. A full night's rest was going to feel so good. Still, it seemed a bit bare in here. Perhaps I should unpack first. 